Yesterday we talked briefly about the kind of the conclusion of the first sentence of the creed that begins after we've noted that we have sinned against God through our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. Um, we said yesterday that we confess them by what we have done, and today we arrive at the conclusion of that first sentence where we read by what we have left undone. I think for many of us, we have a hard enough time confessing or reflecting on what we've actually done that we don't do the hard work of reflecting on what we, how we have sinned through actions undone, uh, words unspoken, um, thoughts that we perhaps have not entertained. Um, you know, that's a challenge for many of us is to consider, you know, I, I, can, I can be sin, sinful in my inaction. When we, when we see oppression, when we see injustice, when we see hatred in the world, and we choose not to act, when we choose not to speak against it, when we choose not to consider that there is another way to think, um, that is something that separates us from the love of God. Again, not that God's love will ever terminate for us, but the fact that we'll say, well, you know what, this is going to get in my way of fully living in to that love by what we have left undone. Uh, if we look back throughout the human history, we see oftentimes, um, just to put it you know, very tritely, bad things happen when people sit by and don't react to that, speak out against it, act out against it. Um, those actions of leaving something undone or not doing something. Um, so we're invited in our confession to evaluate not only the, 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 our direct actions, our direct thoughts, our direct words, but ways in which we have contributed to the brokenness of the world by our inaction, by our inabilities um, to speak out when need be. It's a powerful invitation to consider how we have been complacent and complicit and perhaps can do more um, in our way. That's why in Lent, you know, I spend a lot of time focusing on silence and for reflection, um, to do the hard work of saying, you know, where, where in my life do I really need to do some work? Not only in my direct actions, but ways in which I can work, actively work, to make a difference, uh, to show an alternative to the darkness, which is the light of Christ.